what was your reaction to finding out you'd been suspended for the first half a couple weeks ago? Uh, it was a bit shocking. Uh, we all was unaware, but didn't dwell on it. Uh, yeah. Is that something that you even remembered during that season? Completely forgot about. Uh, <laughs> it, it was a unique situation. So. Lincoln said they went back and looked at the play. Did you watch it as well? And what did you kind of come away with of how you played into it at all? Yeah, uh, I, it was a unique situation. Uh, no footage of what they said happened or anything, but unique. It was a bit crazy. You're on the punt return team with Zacharias. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, can you walk us through what that's like and what it's been like early in the season when he's making so many dynamic plays? Uh, it's all actually. It's kind of it's kind of fun actually blocking for him. We know we have someone back there that's that special and, and can make things happen. So. Uh, the rest, the rest of us up front, we know if we uh, hold on to our blocks and, and do what we have to do, uh, he'll, he'll score like he's been doing. So. Is there anything you have to do differently with him? With him? Yeah. Nah, we just gotta continue to to make sure we hit on the hit on the things, and if we do that, you will see a lot of more touchdowns. So. What was your assessment of how the secondary played against Stanford? Um, I feel like we played well. It's always things that uh, we can improve and get better on, but I feel like as a as a secondary and as a whole. Uh, we made some jumps from the first two weeks. What are some of those things that you think you've improved on specifically? Like, where have you made those jumps? Um, in all aspects, because I move around. Uh, so I feel like uh, my knowledge and, and the amount of reps that I'm taking at different spots, uh, so it's all starting to come together. You've got a lot of experience. I think Domani's still relatively early in his career compared to what you have. So what do you think about his kind of trajectory so far and the way he's playing? First three games. Uh, I just feel like he just needs to keep his head down and continue to work uh, as a team, coaching staff, as a secondary. We all here for each other, so he'll be fine. How have you seen him grow so far from when you first met him to now? Uh, again, like I, like I mentioned, just his, his mentality. Uh, so what now? What uh, you just gotta you gotta have confidence uh, in his uh, uh, in this position that we play. Uh, so, so we all know. So. Mentally, how do you approach a rotation? A rotation? Uh, I trust in the staff. I trust in Coach Riley, Coach Grinch, Coach Dante. Uh, I, I, however it happens or, or play out, uh, I'm, complete, I'm completely fine with it. Um, I know uh, they're doing what's best for the team. So, yeah. Is that something where you have to watch on the sideline during the game and kind of get a, a pace for, for how wide receivers are playing so that you're ready when you go in? Yeah, so it's not... Go crazy, yeah. <laughs> I knew you go way back with Solomon, so what's it like um, watching him kind of have the start to the season? Good. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of him. Uh, it, it's just good to see someone that, I, that I've grown up with uh, just excel and take his game to the next level um, and, and succeed at it. So, Where do you think he's improved the most from um, just his work ethic, the way he approaches everything, um, energetic, positive mindset, um, and always looking uh, just, just to get better each and every day. So. What kind of personality does he add to this team? Uh, just a, a lot of energy, uh, obviously an older guy, so, so people to, uh, take into consideration uh, when he speaks and, and different things like that. So a, a, good, a good role model.